weeks. Former President Donald Trump moved closer to the Republican presidential nomination with a win in last night's New Hampshire primary. But Nikki Haley did better than expected. Doug Luzader in New Hampshire with more. Well, the results are in here in New Hampshire. This is a setback for Nikki Haley, but it's more likely now we're going to see a Trump-Biden rematch in November. You know, we won New Hampshire three times now, three. The former president, Donald Trump, claiming a big win over former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley in Tuesday's New Hampshire primary. She did very poorly, actually. She had to win. Then she, she failed badly. Haley congratulated Trump on his win, but she says she will not drop out of the race. New Hampshire is first in the nation. It is not the last in the nation. Haley's campaign may have gotten a boost from independents here who are allowed to vote in either party's primary, and turnout in New Hampshire was strong. We got close to half of the vote. And while she fared better than expected, it wasn't enough. Still, she says she is the better candidate to take on Joe Biden. A Trump nomination is a Biden win and a Kamala Harris presidency. I think her better messages would be if she talked about the America First agenda and promised the voters, including the Trump voters, that she would do exactly what he's done, but do it differently. Meanwhile, even though Biden was not on the ballot after a rift between New Hampshire and the Democratic Party, he still won after a write-in initiative, though his campaign does not acknowledge the victory. And his top Democratic challenger, Congressman Dean Phillips, is promising to stay in the fight. Next up now, is the South Carolina Republican primary on February 24th. It's Nikki Haley's home state, but Donald Trump is the front runner there. In Bedford, New Hampshire, I'm Doug Lusader, Fox News.